Okay, this is the front door here in 1967 Ruby Ranch Road. Let's take a look inside. Yes, this is a solid wood oak door. Uh, let's go in and take a look and see what we can find. Okay, as you walk in, there's a nice huge open foyer. As you can see, it goes in and goes into the great room right over there. And then here is the office. Nice concrete stained floors, ceiling fan. Okay, let's see. Here is the dining area. And of course, it always has nice custom touches that he does. This is something that I like. He does every single home he does his own personal touch to it. You walk in. Okay, let's walk in. Um, I'm gonna split this video up in two because the house is so big. But right in here, this is actually the kids' retreat, or it can be kind of like a second, uh, kind of like a family room, or they call it the kids' retreat, but um, it can be done for whatever. Something that's really cool on a house this big, it does have two water heaters. So, and the cool thing about it is they're actually down. You don't have to worry about it going up in that attic and getting that. That's something that's really cool and most people don't realize it until they need to replace the water heater. So, okay. This is the great room. Right here. Nice, solid wood oak panels up in the top. Your arch. That's actually for your entertainment center or you can put it up here. Your chimney. And of course, there's lots of work done on the floors. That's actually something people appreciate once they move in. Uh, for electricity if they have a so of course and of course this room is wired for surround sound so very nifty and look at the view you have from back here look all those trees right back there that you have something very cool that's the breakfast area right over here very wide and open and this room right there to the left which we're about to go into over there is actually the game room and here the kitchen, very open floor plan, which people love. Stainless steel appliances. Your wine rack. Very open kitchen. I mean, very usable. All the space here is usable, which is something people that like. One of my favorite things about the kitchen is actually the spice rack that we have over here. Something very nifty that people don't realize. I mean, very useful. Okay, here we go into the butler's pantry. Very nice. And actually all of these cabinets are all custom made for this property. So they're not uh, pre-purchased or anything. And then over here is actually where you go into the utility room. So let's go take a look at that. Nice big open utility room. That little snivel right there, that's for your water softener. It's always good to have a sink in here. You never know what you're going to need to store all your detergents or anything. You need to wash your hands. They're always good. Here's another little storage closet. So, and then this room right here is actually the garage, which we'll go into later. Okay. Now let's go back and go here to the game room. Huge game room. I mean, if this was my house, personally, what I would do is I would just turn it into a media room because you already have all the connections for surround and everything right there, you see? And then just black all the windows out and stuff so you would have a great sounding stereo. And of course, nice trees in the back. One of my favorite things about this property. You have a lot of property that you can do. You can even have a horse on the property if you'd like. And then we go this right here. It's just a room that's just off the kitchen, you can see. It's a little workstation. Um, I like to call it the kid station because if you're at home and you can appreciate this and you have little ones and you want to make sure that they're doing their homework, you can actually put a desk in there. It has computer, internet, everything connections. It's ready to go. So you can appreciate that. Here is another bathroom. Just a bathroom. And here's the other water heater. They're separated from one side of the house to the other side of the house so that you never have to run out of hot water. That's something that can be really cool. Put a nice painting with the accent lighting in there. And let's go to the master. This is the master suite. Very nice. Has the accent lighting. You can put a 
chair table over there and read a book at night. Or you can just enjoy this view again. One of my favorite things about this property is a really nice lot. We'll go out there and I'll show you what it looks like. And what everybody wants to know, the master bathroom. This is a huge master bathroom. It has a, of course, a his and a hers. And then you can't, you gotta have the tub, the jacuzzi tub. And this is something that you ladies will appreciate. You have your own vanity. So you don't have to worry about anything. You can keep everything right there, nice and separate. This is one of my favorite things. This is a huge shower. And all of this is actually travertine tile backsplash. So it looks very nice. And let's try to see if we can get a look in there how it looks. Very nice. And it has a seat too. Um, and the closet. This closet is a three section closet. It's very big. Store everything that you need. Very big, you can see the three sections. And it even has it all the way to the top so you can put your coats, things you only use once a year up there. So lots of space, lots and lots of space. All of this house was utilized as space, was used accordingly. You have your shoes for him. For her, everybody gets their own thing in this house, which is really awesome. All the space that was used, it was used adequately, no wasted space, which is what people love. Especially on these big houses, you have a lot of it, so, okay. Let's go take a look at the other side.